Hi everyone, this is Stani. So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading update. This is going to be the Divine Masculine Current Energy. Um, there's been a lot of shifts going on, like daily, with this whole situation ever since the eclipse. So I'm going to announce my winners for my contest that I had. So if those of you that saw my community tab post, this is the winners for a free mini reading. I couldn't pick just one because I loved all your answers. And so, um, like, I loved all your answers, by the way. But I couldn't pick just one. So I did pick two people. So when I announce your name, just email me. I'm just announcing your um, Instagram name. Just email me, um, StellanyPsychicAdvisor at gmail.com. My email is below. Um, so yeah, and then I could put you on my schedule for your free mini love reading. Okay, so goddess in you, 69, and see that humble mystic. So you could direct message me and email me, whatever you prefer. So I hope you guys enjoy your free love mini reading. I will be doing other contests, and thanks for all those that participated. So that's Goddess in You 69 and see that humble mystic. So I'm going to get right into this reading. So this is a general reading. All the messages aren't going to resonate. If it's not resonating, it's not your reading. So what is this full moon energy? We recently had a full moon eclipse in Capricorn. This is all about releasing old ways, karmic cycles ending. So believe in the impossible. So a lot of you were down, okay? But believe in the impossible because like blue moon, you know the old saying, once in a blue moon, okay? So once in a blue moon, this is a saying um, that Americans say, I don't know if other people say it but it means like something rare something extraordinary that you believe is never going to happen so a lot of you feel like this contact this communication this relationship is never going to happen believe in the impossible because it is going to happen now for those of you that write negative on my um channel i'm probably just going to delete you know i just delete and block so when i block you you're not able to say anything. Basically, you're talking to yourself. Um, so yeah, I don't stand for negativity, by the way. If you're not getting results, it's because you're doing something, okay? If you're not getting results, if you're not getting contact, it's number one, one party isn't ready. The universe isn't gonna bring you two together until both parties are ready because if both parties are not ready, it's not gonna work out. You, you know, an unhealed person in a relationship, the relationship is not going to work out. So the universe is not going to bring two twins together, twin flames, because you're supposed to elevate the energy. You're supposed to, you know, heal the world basically together and you have a mission. So if one twin is in low vibrations, it's not going to work. And then if you're in low vibrations, you're mirroring that energy to your twin. So Really try to stay positive, continue to focus on yourself, don't contact, don't chase because that is low vibration energy, that's karmic energy. So um, another thing, if you're not getting signs, if you're not getting things, then you're probably a karmic, number one, and this isn't your, um, this isn't your collective. So only a personal reading would be able to tell you like where you're at because everyone's at a different path. These are just general messages like a horoscope. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Uh, we literally just had a full moon in Capricorn. Um, it's so crazy that this comes out. This energy has been coming out a lot in these Twin Flame Collective readings. Um, I have friends that are other readers and yeah, we both, we been seeing the same thing so this is coming to a close okay the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn everything that you've worked hard for everything that you've been manifesting it's it's happening so hold your vision you know this isn't a time to be negative hold your vision believe in the impossible because things are coming to an end oh my gosh expect powerful change new moon eclipse another reader literally just like 
literally gets the same messages and you cannot make that up. So that should really tell you um, that, you know, we're all getting the same message for a reason because it's going to happen, okay? Um, so you need to release any doubt. I mean, you cannot, you saw me shuffling, like you cannot arrange the cards a certain way. There's no possible way that all readers that are reading for this collective are getting the same message. So when you start feeling doubtful, remember that, you know, it is what it is. You cannot like cheat. You can't like lie with cards. And that's why I do the cards. I'm a psychic medium. I don't even need cards to read. Those of you that have readings from me know this. Um, but yeah, expect a powerful change. Changes are coming, okay? So you are gonna get what you want. And basically, just stop worrying because worrying and negativity, it causes blocks. When you're feeling emotional, it's because your twin's probably going through something and you need to elevate. You know, go for a walk, go outside, go in nature. Nature is a great um, channel to get rid of negative energy. You know, put your feet in the grass, put your feet in the water, those of you that live by water. Get out of your mind. You know, work on you. So for this collective, like I've been saying, this collective is very, very close to union. If you haven't already gotten um, communication, you will. Communication keeps coming in waves. So messages are going to keep coming out for everyone very soon. Look at that. Keep an open mind. Okay, so that basically sums up this energy. Like I said, very soon. Wow. So, you know, there's been a lot of healing going on, okay? You could be dealing with some type of children situation or your masculine or family situation. But I get that, you know, there's been a lot of healing within this. And I also feel like a lot of divine femme had to heal wounds, inner child wounds, chemistry. That's like my twin flame card for me. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. No matter what, you guys are going to be brought back together. You both could be having major dreams right now of each other. Um, dreams are visions, dreams are messages. Those of you that are healers and empathic and psychic, which many of my divine femme, you're already in your gifts. You know this, you feel this. Look, your divine masculine is going to express their love to you, okay? So the Divine Master is going to express the love. That's, you know, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, holding you, feeling you, letting you know that everything's going to be all right, okay? Um, everything's going to work itself out. And yeah, you have nothing to get upset about. So I feel like this Divine Masculine really is going to tell you how they lied about their feelings. They didn't mean to not, you know, express. My throat chakra is acting up. <clears throat> so yeah, this Divine Masculine, I feel, for this group really has not expressed, okay? They really haven't, like, been blatant. They could have, like, told you I love you in the past, but then they could have been like, oh, I didn't... You know, I'm not in love with you or, you know, we don't mesh well together. Or we don't go well together. Like, I feel like this Divine Master, like, seriously pushed you Divine from away. So, now this Divine Master is going to come back and express the love that they withheld from you. Okay? And love languages. So, this Divine Master could be expressing love language in action service you know touch everybody has a different love language some people they don't know how to communicate and they show it in other ways so just be open-minded so what is this divine masculine going to be telling you the unsaid wow that's exactly what i said <laughs> this is all about expression Okay, showing I love you or like you without physically saying it, didn't say it yet. So a lot of you, like I said, this Divine Masculine could have said it, then 
went back on what they said, treated you horrible, um, they were not healed. They might have communication issues. They're going to communicate with you and they're going to tell you what you've been wanting to hear. You know, they're gonna really tell you, okay, they're gonna tell you that you're sorry. This Divine Masculine could be distracted right now, deep in their thoughts. You could be hearing messages and music. They could be some type of distance. They push you away emotionally or you live a distance from each other. A lot of you started as friends, I feel, in this collective. They're planning, okay? So this Divine Masculine is planning to ask you out, to meet up with you, send you a text message, call you, inviting you out. They're making plans in their mind. They're making, you know, 3D real plans. So a lot of you, I'm getting babies. So I'm thinking about babies. Some of you have been seeing a lot of babies lately, um, dreaming babies. So these are spirit babies. Spirit babies are babies that are not born yet. Someone asked that. I answered this several times in my other video. Um, spirit babies. So these are children that aren't born yet that, you know, hang around you to guide you or to be born, you know, with you. They could have been babies that, you know, miscarriages, whatever, but they're spirit babies, spirit little babies that are attached to you. Okay. So a lot of people are talking to their spirit babies. If you want more information, I'm sure you could like Google it. Google's your friend. Um, so this Divine Masculine, you know, is feeling mentally tapped, emotionally spent, physically drained, spiritually depleted, ready to make a change. So they're tired of not doing anything. They're tired of withholding that feeling of love from you, not letting you know. They're tired of everyone. Okay, I just get this. So my masculine is very, very exhausted right now. Okay, so they need to take time out. They need to relax. They need to um, be lighthearted, meditate, cleanse. This divine masculine has like a lot of heavy energy at this time. And you're probably feeling it. So a lot of you are feeling drained yourself because you're mirroring your masculine, basically. Okay, so try to get out of that energy. So what is the overall action this Divine Masculine is going to be taking towards you, Divine Femme, in the near future? My readings are timeless, so if you come to this channel in two months, it still could resonate, by the way. Yeah, this Divine Masculine isn't feeling well. They could be depressed uh, right now, so that could be another reason you're not hearing from them. They could be trying to be secretive, not wanting people to know their plans. Um, I feel like they're sneaking away from certain people, karmics that they don't want to deal with anymore. They want you to have hope. They want you to know that you know they are dreaming of you they're trying to find courage because chills they're trying to find courage for this message i told you communication so there's a message arriving this message could be arriving you know over text message email direct message social media what have you but i got this message is going to be arriving when you least expect it Okay, things are being illuminated. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies, those of you. You could even see butterflies, you know, random, like at the store or... It doesn't have to be a real butterfly. You could be seeing pictures. But this message is going to be coming and it's going to bring balance with the eleven. so... There's going to be a peaceful resolution coming to you, so don't fret. They're going to take action, okay? They're going to take action, they're going to take initiative, and they're going to make a move. You don't have to do anything but continue to be you, continue to 
focus on yourself and um, this is going to come to you you know this is going to come when you least expect it so um, I feel like again this divine masculine is tired of the stagnant energy between you two they know they caused it like that's why I'm saying like you don't need to chase they know that they have to do what they have to do so show me more about this action yeah yep 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 so in the past they were not taking action but now they're moving forward with the six of swords so they're moving forward they're leaving whatever their past behind and they want to come see you a lot of these masculines are going to come travel to you those of you that live far they're going to come travel to you yeah so before they were in like eight of swords they could still be feeling fearful like i get some of them are still like in their fears they need to break out of it they need to break free um once they break free then they'll come and speak to you they're they're like in their mind. They're, they're really, really in their mind about this connection. Okay, so the sun's going to come out though. And this is the lover's card. So they're going to make a decision. Okay, they're going to make a decision. There's a lot of air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of air energy. But um, yeah, they're going to come to you. You know, you're not gonna see this coming. This decision's gonna be made. And I feel like you're gonna be shocked. They're holding on to you. They're not gonna let go of you. They feel like they need you in their life. They feel like without you, their life isn't good. And yeah, they have it in their mind that you guys are destined. They're aware of the connection for this collective. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you want a personal, then my information is below. Bye.